Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to talk about art school. Uh, I get the question a lot, where did I go to school? Do, I, do, do you need to go to school to become a comic book artist or a cartoonist or a game designer? That is, like all my answers, whatever works for you. <laughs> um, we'll start with me. I did not go to art school. I did not go to college of any sort. Well, let me run that. I did go for maybe like three or four months, like half, not even a full semester to community college um, in Tennessee uh, where I went to high school, but um, I didn't finish um, and I took all remedial classes. <laughs> so it's basically like I did another couple months of high school. So yeah, I did not go to art school. I did not go to college. I read a lot of books. I uh, studied as much as I could for whatever we had access to. We didn't have everything that, that, that young artists have today, YouTube and uh, Instagram and in, in, um, you know, TikTok and Facebook and all these resources out there. Access to European books and, and Japanese books and all these, these art books from all over the globe. Uh, we just, they were just, the internet hadn't really started yet or it was just a baby when I was first you know, graduating high school. So our access to information was short. I, I used to get in my car and I would sometimes drive two hours um, to, to go to a bookstore in Knoxville just to, just to maybe find a book that would help me draw better. I didn't know if it existed. I just was always on the hunt. It was like a true treasure hunt. Sometimes I found things, sometimes I didn't. But that's uh, that was my journey at the beginning. What really became my school for me was the art of books. You know, the art, the, the making of all the animated movies. I, 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 I think I learned more from the art of Mulan than almost anything. They talk a lot about framing in that book and motion with effects. And it's, it's just a brilliant book uh, by some really brilliant artists. Another, another place that I really um, learned a ton was on the special features disc of Ad Disney's Atlantis, which is, I think, a really slept on movie of theirs. Uh, Mike Mignola went in and did some designs for that. And uh, it just looks amazing. It, it's a fun action adventure movie, animated movie. But they had a two hour making of documentary that came with the DVD and they deep dive into everything. And I just loved it. I learned more from that thing. I used to just push play on that and watch it and then restart it and watch it again while I drew just to soak in these artists little tips um, about things. So that's a little bit about where I was where I just kind of learned by doing and looking at other people's stuff. Um, now that's not to say I didn't want to go to college. I didn't the, everything has worked out for me, but it doesn't mean that I made that choice. I really, really wanted to go to art school, but for personal reasons and financial reasons, I couldn't make it happen. I lived, I moved out on my own when I was pretty young. The money wasn't there. There wasn't college funds. Uh, it was hard to get enough money. Art school is very, very expensive. For those of you going to art school, you know this. So I waited tables and just tried to get in on my own. Now, do you need to go to art school? Now, I don't think that it's a question of need. I think it's a question of, do you want to go to art school? I don't think that anybody needs to go to college for art because there is not that many jobs that I'm aware of, especially in the freelance world, that require you to have any sort of degree or formal education or proof of formal education to get the job. It, the art world, for the most part, especially in comic books, is based on merit. You know, are you good enough? Who do you know? Right place, right time, a little bit of luck, a lot of work, all that. I, know, I don't know anybody or any company who is looking to check out your degree um, from a college before they hire you on to do a comic book. So you don't need to go to college or art school to become a comic book artist. But obviously education and getting better and, and, and growing as an artist is important for all of us. That can absolutely be done at an art school. So if you want that, if you want that community, I mean, there is definitely something to be said about 
the the community that you are surrounded with at an art school. I know people, um, Jorge and his wife Morgan, two amazing artists, uh, family to me now. Jorge is my co-creator on Middle West. Morgan is a beautiful illustrator in her own right. The, the, the two of them met at SCAD uh, art school. Um, they clearly both benefited from the knowledge that they, that they were given there. And probably I'm going to speak for them and they could tell me that I'm wrong, but probably also from being around that many other artists. I, I always feel that there's a real boost of energy when you surround yourself with other talented people. There's, I don't want to call it competition because I, I don't believe in, in artistic competition. I want to say that it's just motivation. Um, seeing somebody create makes me want to create, um, not to beat them, but to join them and make things and be creative. So I think there's a sense of community. There's a sense of fellowship that you're going to get by going to art school for sure. Financially, obviously, you've got to roll the dice on that. You're not going to get out of school and probably land a job that's going to help you pay back the immense amount of hundreds of thousands of dollars it costs you to go get that education. So you've got to keep that in mind. I have friends who are still paying off college loans years, years and years and years and years and years after they graduated college. Um, they work in art. They, they have art jobs. And, and it's still a struggle to pay those loans back. So, and, and you know, that's a bigger conversation. That's a whole college conversation that I have a big problem with, but we'll, I, I'm not going to get in the weeds on that, right? Can you get an education without going to an actual university? Absolutely. I mean, this is the best time ever to grow as an artist without having to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on an education. Um, over the last 10 years, you have, I, we've seen a lot of online schools pop up or online education sources. I could go through a ton of them. I'm going to, I'm not sponsored by any of these people. These people are just friends of mine. So I'm going to call out two. Um, one is Bobby, um, uh, Bobby Chu's uh, schoolism. Uh, that place is awesome. The level of positivity and energy that comes from him and his, uh, Co his, his other teachers and artists that, that they work with. It's just awesome. It's such a place of positivity. Another great place that you can check out online is the Society of Visual Storytelling, uh, SVS for short. That was started by one of my really close friends, Jake Parker, who is uh, an amazing uh, cartoonist and comic book artist and children's book illustrator um, and just one of the sweetest humans I've ever known. Um, and a friend of his, Will Terry, who is also a great children's book illustrator um, and cartoonist who just uh, has an immense talent as well. So they started a place called uh, Society of Visual Storytelling. They've got tons of courses, other instructors, really great. Um, going to cost you much less than going to college, but you're going to learn just as much. And the cool thing is, is you are learning from people who are on the front lines out there in the world working. You're going to get real you're going to get real information handed down to you from real professionals. That is an absolute way to go. Um, YouTube. Oh my gosh. YouTube is filled with places that you can learn or, or uh, uh, channels that you can learn all types of stuff from everything. I mean, that, that's usually why I go like, oh, how do I paint this? Or how do I use this me medium? Uh, what brush? What, who's using what ink now? I will just head over to YouTube. That's my college right now. I'm still learning. I'm still growing. I'm still taking things in. But YouTube is a really, really great source. So many great channels over there for you to gather a bunch of information. Um, and then the world of, you know, Amazon. Go to Amazon. Go to your local comic book shop. Go to your local bookstore, uh, local indie bookstore. Have them order you books. There are so many books out there. Like I said, my favorite source is the making of books. It's filled with illustrations and people talking about the process and their thought process about why this character looks this way, why they chose this outfit, why they chose this shape or the weight or the height of a character, why they chose the environments. They they really kind of give you a crash course on their thought process and creating all these you know, the, these visuals and the movies and stuff that we watch. So to me, that's a great little, I have shelves and shelves of little mini universities right in front of me here in my studio. That is kind of there. There's my answer. I think you can go to college and get, get have fun and learn and learn a ton and get better as an artist and be with other artists and have a great time. That is one, that's one option. If you feel that that's daunting or intimidating and you can't afford it, I would tell you to not worry about it, to not feel like your dreams are crushed and that you're never going to be able to achieve it. 
go out, check out all these online schools, check out these online instructors, find a mentor, do, just do the legwork, do a little bit of legwork, put together some books, um, put together a list of YouTube channels, take yourself to school, create a curriculum for yourself, give yourself assignments. Uh, there is a lot of options out there for you to get better as artists. All of those will help you achieve whatever it is you're looking to achieve, whether it's be a comic book artist, be a printmaker, <laughs> make stick, whatever, whatever it is that you want to do with your art, there is ways out there to teach you. So do you need to go to art school? If you want, if you don't want, whatever, it's all good. I hope that helped. Hope that gave you guys a little insight to the world of education and, and art. Uh, I thank you guys for coming by the channel today and checking out this video. If you want to subscribe, hit subscribe. Uh, you can tap that bell over there. That'll tell you when it'll notify you when I have new videos up. And um, I will see you guys next time. All right. Later.